I was in the area of Bristol on a really nice summer's day uh, and I thought to myself, you know what, I should check out the brand new Portway Park and Ride station. So I did. So here's a tour from my perspective of the brand new station. the end of the station. I saw this when it was under construction. So it's got cameras, timetables and advertisement boards, help point, dot matrix display. Is it picking up? Um, yes, Portway Park and Life. So the station opened a few weeks ago, but the um, park and ride itself had been here for 20 years. I think. I've got to check the dates, but almost 20 years then. So waiting shelter. Oh, look, a bin bag and it's blowing in the breeze, kind of. Look, it's, it is what it is. There's the M5 up there. I don't know what else to do here. Timetables. Timetables. The all important timetable. The thing is, how reliable is the is the train though? That's a lovely shot right there. That's a lovely shot. The station is actually quite a decent size. And it's wonderful on a day like this. Makes it extra nice. The ticket machine that barely works. I noticed a couple of the uh, people that came here were struggling with it. Yeah, it's obviously things to announce the train's arrival and departure. Instead of a to Avonmouth, that should actually say to Seven Beach because I think I'll show you footage of the the train going there and seeing it. Yeah, to Bristol Temple Meads then. Yeah, this takes you straight into the city centre, which is very useful. I came along the line in October actually, so it was freezing cold. Upgrades were defending the line, have yet to be updated or not. There's a contactless machine over there. So. Look how long that platform is, it goes all the way down there. Yeah. And that is Footway Park and Ride Station. 